Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Snowbreak Containment Zone video. And today I'm just gonna be talking about what changes they made from the beta. By the way, if you happen to like the content, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. So the first change I'm going to talk about is the cover. In the beta, you cannot cover whatsoever. And when I played Snowbreak Containment Zone in the beta, I found it kind of weird that a first person shooter game didn't have the cover feature. So you basically had to like, tank enemy hits or just dodge at the right time. I am kind of glad that they added the cover feature in the final release. However, sometimes the covering feature is not that useful, especially when you're dealing with melee enemies, since they can basically just run up to you and attack you with their sword. Also, there are enemies that have like some wide AOE that can basically go over your covering. However, covering is still pretty useful in certain scenarios, especially when you play the hard mode in this game, covering will be your best friend. So at the end of the day, I am glad that they decided to add covering because this is a FPS game at the end of the day. So having a FPS game without covering is kind of awkward. Another change that they did from the beta is the story. The story was a little different in the beta in the beta, the main protagonist was more of a wimpy, incompetent protagonist. The protagonist in the beta had no military experience whatsoever. He was basically just a civilian that was fawning over Wednesday life. He was also a little sister con as well. He was the older brother of the little girl that you see in Snowbreak Containment Zone. Also the tea lady, I don't exactly remember her name or I don't know how to pronounce her name. I think it's like a Greek letter. I'm not that familiar. Anyways, the tea lady in the beta was more of a bitch. Understandable though, because the main protagonist in the beta was a bitch, but the, the lady was more of a bitch to the protagonist. But in the final release, she's a little bit more reserved. In the beta, the protagonist only joins the Hemdel squad in order to search for his sister. But in the final release, I think the Hemdel squad basically like invited him to join since the protagonist in the final release actually has like military experience. The protagonist change in personalities doesn't affect the whole plot of the story. The whole plot is still the same, right? You're, you fight titans and shit. But it is satisfying to see the protagonist actually get shit done compared to his beta self, who was just more of a wimp that was just always fawning over life, and his little sister. In the beta, there was a playable male. I don't remember his actual name, but I remember his in-game nickname, which was Teach. His nickname was Teach because in the story, he was teaching the protagonist how to be a military commander. Anyways, he was playable in the beta, but for some reason in the final release, they decided to get rid of him. I've heard they did this because the CN player base were complaining about males, so CSUN games basically had to get rid of the male character. His kit wasn't anything too special. It was pretty flashy to look at though. I'm kind of neutral about this change. I mean, I don't really care if there are playable males or not. This is not the first instance that the CN player base were complaining about males. I remember in Honkai Impact, Hoyoverse asked the CN players if they should add male characters as playable characters, but the CN fan base basically kind of threatened to murder them. So because of how crazy the CN player base can be when it comes to male playable characters, I don't think we're going to be getting any future male characters in the game. I could be wrong though, I don't know, who knows. I know the male character in the beta did play a part of the story in chapter 7, however in the final release instead of seeing Teach, you see Haru instead. In the final release of Snowbreak, there is a missing gameplay mode. I don't remember the exact name of the gameplay mode on the top of my head, but this gameplay mode in the beta basically consists of you surviving in this map for like a few minutes. You basically survive against enemy mobs, there's going to be like healing kits that drop down every now and then. The point of this this gameplay mode is just a survival mode. You survive for like a few minutes and that's basically it. I did hear rumors that they're going to be adding this gameplay mode sometime in the future, though I'm not sure if this is true or not, but it was a pretty fun gameplay mode, so having it back would be pretty nice. The most obvious change from beta to final release is the graphics. The graphics look a little bit better. However, one complaint I have about this game is that the 
the character models kind of just look off to me. They look fine, but they kind of look like something from like the PS3 era. I'm not a graphics expert, but I think what they need to do is maybe like work on the shading a little bit. I think the shading for the characters could be better. I'm not the type of person that will just like shit on a game for the graphics though. I play Pokemon like my whole life. Pokemon has always had shitty graphics, but I do think they should work like on the shading for the models of this game. Anyways, that's all of the changes that I can think of. There might have been like a few that I missed, but yeah, that's basically it. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye now. Come again soon.